five separate, I think it's five, right? Five people in a group? I thought that's what it was for me. To be able to coordinate five separate schedules, rally five people behind one unifying project, come up with that idea, transform your thought and then that process into a concrete uh, book and story and get up and present it and talk about it and now compete with it and then get a grade on it. I mean, that is an incredibly stressful process that real people do or try to do every day outside in the world when starting a company, when you're at a company, uh, in any profession you, you're going to work in. Those are unbelievably valuable skills. So it's, it's hard to understand always when you're going through it, like I was talking about, but these kinds of things that you've already demonstrated your ability to do are going to set you so far ahead once you get out into the real world that it's going to be like, you're going to, oh, you guys don't know how to do this? Like, Professor Eck talked to this like a year ago, and you're going to feel amazing about it. So that, I think, is incredibly important. And last and most importantly uh, for me, I think, is just the ability to communicate, the ability to take those thoughts, those ideas that you've all brainstormed together, those concepts, those, you know, woo, let's do this, whatever, and turn it into something that another person can understand and get their own emotions behind, get their own support behind. That right there is an incredible skill that takes more than just creativity, because, okay, anybody can come up with an idea. It takes more than just the ability to act, because some people can act, can't do anything, they can't think of anything, but they can do whatever you tell them to do. But you've demonstrated both of those and then been able to transform that into something that someone else can understand and get behind. And that right there, I think, is the key of why this program is so important and why you are all so smart for having chosen to invest yourselves into this program and let it invest into you. Um, because that communication, that ability to translate your thoughts into words is the foundation of being able to connect with other people in this world. And right now, as I'm sure you all know, what we need in this world is more connection. At every level of business, personal life, doesn't matter, you talk about micro, macro, everything, it's those little connections that you all have demonstrated the ability to make on a grand scale. Because okay, it's one thing to be able to talk like I'm doing right now, stand up here and ramble some words on out of show, but it's another thing to be able to put your words from your head into a written form that takes conscious action. It's a lot different than just sitting and talking because you have to actually go back and rewrite, reread, be able to make it as the best you can so that someone else on the other side of the world could potentially be able to understand that. But when you get out into the business world or into the real world, whatever, I don't consider my world real yet, so I can't quite talk about that. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, that ability to connect and communicate is really what's going to set you apart at the bottom line because there's nothing more important, I think, than just making other people feel heard, making them feel like you see them, making you feel like you making them feel like you understand them. And this ability that you've all demonstrated such a prowess at is the foundation of that. Um, and so I'm extremely impressed by you all, like I've said. And I, I, I remember from my time here at UCSB, uh, Professor Ed mentioned that I was the editor of the Nexus, and I see a couple of my Nexus friends back there. Always good to see familiar faces. Uh, but I, I remember just, just from my time there, when we'd have reporters or something not complete a story, that was a problem. But the reporters who didn't complete a story and wrote to me and said, I'm not going to complete the story, communicated to me that it's not going to happen and here's why, those people I was happy to keep them around. That was not a problem. But if I just didn't hear from them and you didn't complete the story, that was a real problem. That ability to connect with me over something, even if it was a problem, set you so far apart and so far above anybody else that was a competition that it was like, yeah, all right, you're hired. It's great. So I'm just saying that that is an unbelievably important skill to have, and you all clearly do. So I'm really impressed by you. Um, and so yeah, anyway, a little bit about life in a career of uh, writing, which is, I think, Many people look at that as, some, as a dream, as something of the past. Uh, but I strongly and firmly believe that the skill of writing, the skill of communication, and the art of communication will never go anywhere. Those will always be foundational skills, no matter what you're going into. Uh, and so I think that if you feel like called to be a writer, called to be a speaker, called to do anything, all you need to do is go out there and invest in yourself, throw yourself at it, and don't let anybody tell you no. Uh, of course, there are going to be people, be people who question you, who try to slow you down, 
and ask you, you know, oh, are you doing that? Like, how is that? You're making any money and everything. But at the end of the day, what counts is the fact that you're putting yourself out there, you're making a difference for what you need, for what you want in this world. And I think that it's something that we tend to forget about, just how important it is to put yourself out there, put yourself on the line for what it is you believe in. And clearly, you've all done it already with these projects, so, you know, I'm speaking to the preaching of the choir, I suppose, in a sense, but, you know, just go for it, because that's how I ended up here, that's how I ended up doing what I am doing right now, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's been an unbelievable experience, uh, and it all started here, in the writing program. I, I really strongly believe that the skills I learned here are what brought me uh, here today. So, uh, my, my one last story for you all before I go. Um, there's, a, there's an old joke, so bear with me. An old man uh, went in for his physical one day, and about a week later, the doctor sees him walking along the street, looking younger than ever, looking spry, springing his step with a beautiful woman on his arm. The doctor rushes over to him and says, man, what, what happened to you? You look incredible. And the guy says, oh, doc, I just did what you tell me. And the doctor says, what? What did I tell you? And the guy says, oh, he said, be cheerful and get yourself a hot mama. And the doctor, the doctor looks at his jaw just about hits the floor and he says, No, I didn't. I said, Be careful, you've got a heart murmur. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I love that story for a couple reasons, but most of all, I think that it's a perfect example of how we all have the ability to interpret what we see, what we hear. We all have our own perspective on life. And so, given the fact that you can choose your perspective, you can create your reality, you can make life what you choose it to be. Why not choose to be something amazing, choose to be something incredible, choose to leave your mark on this world and on everybody you see? Sometimes all it takes is just a smile, sometimes all it takes is just a high. Uh, and I think 